Well, red light rocket, I don't know about that. Um, we have to know about reality because we are reality or... Um, I don't think we have to know about ourselves. I, I think we are just as unknowable to ourselves as, as the universe as a whole is unknowable to ourselves. Okay, which means we're partially knowable, but overall, you know, we can't expect complete knowledge just because we are ourselves, really. You know, I mean, here I am talking, moving all these vocal cords. I don't even know which ones are moving. Okay, I don't know anything about that. So, the thing is, okay, yeah, you can know if your interpretations that you state cohere with the perceptions you can remember having. So you can work on trying to remember your perceptions better in, 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 in better ways, since we don't remember every detail. You, know, you can organize that better, and then you can check your theories, you could figure out ways to check your theory, and for your theory to make predictions that are checkable. Sounds like the scientific method a little, doesn't it? When you talk about the reality beyond that, I mean, see, that is the reality. That, that defines what it is for you to be. The reality is that those are the perceptions you're having. I mean, if you had perennial hallucinations, that's your reality, okay? And you're saying, there's a giant green bunny that lives on my shoulder. That would be true. You would relate it to your perceptions. Now, if you want to get back to that, it's funny. We talk about uh, how would you break beyond this? How would you become, you know, get more than that? And it's funny. What we actually do to get more, more reality, is take less of the perceptions. Okay, Instead of the full set of perceptions, like the bunny on your shoulder, you start to limit yourself, for example, to perceptions other people can have. Things they can report like, do you see a bunny on my shoulder? No, I guess it's just me then. It's just a hallucination. And I exclude that from my consideration of what counts as material reality. Except, of course, for psychological materiality. You know, the material reality of your electrochemical processes in your brain. So that's why group consensus, you know, truth... And by consensus has this practical work because it does work if, if the individuals do a personal consensus of themselves what it, what what makes sense in their own multiple feelings and their own multiple perceptions then they compare their their perceptions and their interpretations of them with other people they find there's some overlap there's by no means guaranteed to be an overlap and the overlap doesn't prove much about reality. I mean, ultimately, there you can't have an overlap. You can never experience someone else's feelings, so you're not comparing apples to apples. You get perceptions of them telling you about a feeling. Perceptions of that. You accept that, that what they're reporting is similar to what you've experienced. You take what you've experienced as the example that they've invoked. And right then, well, that example isn't your idea. It's in your head, it's your idea, not theirs. Okay, so you can get this truth by consensus by taking a subset of your perceptions. Those perceptions that other people, that, that those perceptions for which you also have perceptions of other people reporting, per, making reports of perceptions that are intelligible to you as a certain kind of perception. And that's all you have, and so you know, there's no metaphysical, I don't know, reward. It's simply a practical matter of, okay, well, how am I going, what, how, what subset of my perceptions am I going to accept as indicative, most directly, of a material reality? And it's going to be a subset of all your perceptions. And you're never going to get a superset. Trying to get beyond your perceptions by taking a subset. Think about it. You're going to take a subset of your perceptions, the most careful one, then you're going to get beyond your perceptions. No, you're going to get a more clear theory because some of your perceptions do nothing but add noise to your theorizing. So it feels like you're getting beyond. But by definition, no, you're getting a subset. No, we, we don't have to know anything. We don't really know anything in terms of beyond our perceptions. 
our personal perceptions and our perceptions of other people reporting perceptions. We can collate that and make a lot of progress and come up with criteria of utility, uh, all kinds of criteria. But ultimately, you know, we can't get beyond. You can't get be if you have a bunch of numbers and you take a subset, you're not getting beyond the first set. Okay, that's the idea. Anyway, cheers. As always, thought-provoking, interesting. Also, not exactly predictable. Cheers.